How y'all doing tonight? This is a, a treat. I came to see a friend read, and Black Ice was here. Like you said, I haven't seen him in years. The last time I saw him, he was opening for Mary J. Blige in um, the Nissan Pavilion Center in Virginia. But anyway, I was talking to Brother Charles over there. We was having a sidebar, kind of like what um, Lamar was saying, how women always get up here talking about either good dick or he ain't shit, or God is other mother earth something. So I always tend to push buttons and make people think, and I'm just going to get into it, and I'm just going to say this, like I've always said with my signature piece, ladies, whatever you're not doing, somebody else will do. Somebody, and I ain't talking sex either, so not talking sex. Somebody else will do. That's all I'm saying. So, Charles, this for you, Charles. We just met too, Charles. Oh. Don't be trying to cut me when I'm finished either. <laughs> I am the one who consoles your man. I listen when you don't have time. I am his friend first and his lover second. A lover who loves him unconditionally. I don't make him feel like he's less of a man. I know this good black man is doing the best he can in an unforgiving world. He laughs with me, smiles with me, shares with me. He runs my bath water and licks the bubbles off my toes. Washing my body with gentle hands, gentle hands from a gentle man. He shows me a side of him that you never knew existed, baby girl. Did you know he really wants to go to cooking school? And you ask, who am I? Well, I'm the other woman. You were always too busy for him with your career, too busy to get the brother a beer, too busy for love. He was never next, too busy for anal or kinky sex. Don't get it. Twist it, Missy. This isn't something that a pass. It's a whole lot deeper than a piece of ass. We read books together, cry together, love forever. Who am I? I am the other woman. When his iPhone goes off unexpectedly, well, that's me. When he comes home late and happy from an all night at the office, it's me that put that smile on his face. I make dealing with you more tolerable. I've only spoken to you once or twice. You sound very nice, not cold as ice, like he said, or maybe he meant cold as ice in bed. Idle hands are the devil's workshop. Idle hands of your man all over my tan, brown, fit body. A good man is not hard to find. A good man is hard to keep, especially if you're a weak woman. I give him my ass to kiss and my body to lick. He likes me because I show him sass and spunk. I serve him breakfast in bed, followed by a little head and drink mimosas out of his navel. Hey, girl, I understand. Everybody ain't able. Quit trying to be the boss and give that salad just a little toss. <laughs> Cook, clean, fuck him all the time, and shut the fuck up sometimes. Everything doesn't need to be addressed. I ask him how was his day and massage his feet, letting him know he's my only treat. No disrespect intended, but then again, I don't owe you that respect that is. He committed to you, I didn't. We as women always get mad at one another instead of dealing with that man, the man with idle hands. You ask, who am I? I'm the other goddamn woman. Thought you knew. <laughs> 